Ultra Video Pirate T. Oi, SDS Ron Cone, AnetComputers.com. And the camera. It just never fails. This stupid piece of shit. Well, I shouldn't call it that. Ah, fuck it. One of my viewers on, I think, Keyboard Locked video asked me if I could help them with a keyboard where only certain specific keys work. One of those weird computer problemos. Laptop keyboard stopped working. This is on an Asus. They did not provide me the model number and the operating system, so I am limited. And I'm not going to waste my time and, you know, ask you comment back, well, what's your model number? What's your operating system? No, I'm not going to waste my time waiting for responses. You should have provided. Do you call up tech support for your at your business or your corporation, your surf job in your cubicle? Do you call up the help desk and just say, well, some keys don't work on my keyboard? Or do you tell the help, help desk technician, well, let's see, I've got an Asus model 6789, it's running Windows 10, and the keyboard in question is the integrated one. However, I'm going to still make this video because I can possibly get views with search engine optimization and get higher click through rate, get a good CTR and a good CPC and make a little bit of money. A viewer of a video on my internet computers, blah, 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 blah. So let's see. You can check out my blog post at my website, anacomputers.com, which will link, be linked in this YouTube video description. It's all typed up for you quickly. The first thing I would try is I would try to hook up an external keyboard. I'm assuming, I don't know, they didn't tell me, and I'm not going to fucking waste my time sitting there, well, let's see, is it your external keyboard? What, what model of Asus and... What version of Windows are you running? And then sit there and fucking wait for a response. Absolutely not. Hook up an external keyboard, USB, and see if the same problem occurs. If now the they claim the N, the M, the L, the comma. I don't know why they said L a second time. I'm not sure. The O and the word key nine. I don't know what the fuck that means. I'm assuming the numeric keypad. A lot of keyboards has a numeric keypad on the right-hand side. I'm assuming that number nine doesn't work. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that means. I'm not going to guess for you, and I'm not going to sit there and waste my time and you know type back a bit and then you know wait. Most people, I've tried that before, and they never respond back. Or I'm I'm such a nice guy that I make videos trying to help people out and they never ever say thank you or they never I never get tipped I never get any money so give me a fucking break please advise how I can activate it so a certain amount of keys don't work hook up an external keyboard if it's the same issue then it's most likely well not most likely it's possibly an operating it would yeah point to an operating system problem so you can go in Windows, you can go to the language setting, go to control panel. I will demonstrate on Windows 10, but that's it. You can use these steps as a basis for other operating systems. I'm not going to hold your hand on every fucking operating system that Microsoft ever built. But you can go to control, whoops, I need to. So in Windows 10, right click and then control panel but they they fucking took away control panel they fucking Microsoft fucking took away control panel in Windows 10 when you right clicked how brilliant is that it's stupid to me so you have to type it in there it is in here look for language then make sure these are all set to the country that you want like for an example the United States if you live in the United States or you you want your computer to use the United States English version there's a Great Britain English version so there is a difference so make sure that this is set to the United States as an example click on options make sure this is also US you can go down here and I think personalized handwriting recognition is that it no not that there's another 
let's go back there's another section advanced settings make sure that it's set to the language of your choice English right here or use the language list recommended or make sure that's United States I'm not gonna I don't wanna fuck with these cuz that my computer works just fine make sure everything is set to the United States or whichever language you want the operating system to use exclusively I'm gonna click cancel there I think that's the only place yeah you don't have to mess with that then see if that fixes your issue another thing you can do is you can boot into Windows safe mode if you do not have the same problem when you boot into Windows safe mode then that tells me it could be a driver's issue with your keyboard if it if you still have the same issue with your win with in Windows safe mode it's very possible that it's hardware related it's possible that keys start failing if you have if I'm not well I don't give a shit what you think anymore you're gonna have to open up your laptop you're gonna have to learn how to take apart a laptop take out the keyboard here I'll quit really quick I've got some NFL football to watch. I haven't cared about NFL football in like 15 years until Colin Kaepernick because I'm a huge fan of Colin Kaepernick. And if you're offended by that, I don't give a fuck. I'm not a nationalist. The United States National Anthem is a racist song. They took out the third... They took out like the third paragraph out of the original song, but it's still racist. So, and nothing in a previous video I said who gives a shit about what Colin Kaepernick does like on the side that's not what I meant that was bad that was terrible way to phrase it what I meant was on his free time who care I mean why would anybody care what Colin Kaepernick does on the side as an activist or whatever and who care well I was not offended when he knelt down that takes a lot of guts but the na the United States national anthem is a racist song. It's a racist anthem. This country was created based upon race. This this country is ra racist. It's always been. I've studied my own group. I'm not even going to go there about what happened to my ancestors on this continent. I didn't care about the NFL until what's going on now and now there are other football players that are kneeling there's even entire teams one team yesterday didn't even come out for the national anthem they sat in the locker room another team some of them held hands well they all held hands some knelt down and I think well some stood up and the rest knelt down or what I saw photos well, anyways so none of that bothers me there's way more important things but now I watch NFL football, although I still boycott it. I don't pay for it. But there are ways that I have learned to watch NFL football on the Internet without paying for it. And, it, and I owe it all to Colin Kaepernick, and I'm a huge fan of his. In my opinion, he'll never play football again because of what he did. I could be wrong, but I don't think he'll ever play NFL football again. Never. He might, yeah, I, he'll never play professional football. You think the Canadian Football League is going to embrace him? <laughs> What he did was excellent. And if you're offended by that, don't subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, get the fuck off my YouTube channel. Unsubscribe right now. So here's a old dual core laptop with all kinds of problems. Now, this is not the original keyboard. The original keyboard broke and the ri ribbon cable. So this is an, an, an average keyboard, laptop keyboard. It's You see, it's got this this connector right here the be careful with these a lot of times they break off right here or they'll they'll just they'll ju is this one broke too no but or they'll you know twist in half yeah be careful with these but you need to learn how to you know take apart laptops and all this does is it would the original would connect right here right right there is where it connects to the motherboard actually so it's not the right keyboard, but you know, I'm just, see? And you have to learn how to, they're ribbon cables. You have to learn how to, you know, be nice to the ribbon cables and attach them. But this laptop isn't, it's got a broken screen. As you can see, it's cracked. 
and it's the keyboard ribbon cable shredded the keyboard ribbon cable shredded and now but you know so you're gonna have to learn and I'm not gonna hold your hand I might, I might make some videos in the future showing you how to dismantle actually I probably will I do not have the the a keyboard that fits so it, you know but in the future if I ever get some I recycle computers and I get computers like this that are trash but I do what I can I try to salvage what I can this one is not salvageable it's only a dual core it's got a crack screen that doesn't work anymore that's like 40 bucks maybe if I can even find one it's not really worth it and then the keyboard 10 bucks if I can find one this one I'm gonna take the motherboard out and put it <laughs> and put it in a desktop computer I'm gonna make that video and see if I can get it to work all right so all right let me wrap up another thing you can try is go into device manager I'm only gonna show you on Windows 10 I'm not gonna hold your hand and show it every, on every operating system that Microsoft ever created developed but back to Windows 10 then I need to run off and watch some football and I'm interested in what the teams did before really the football game and if it pisses off a certain group in America I don't care if it pisses you off that I'm a fan of Colin Kaepernick, I don't give a fuck. That's my free speech. So let's see. Let's go to... Well, no. Okay. So let's go back to the device manager. Right-click on Windows 10. Select device manager. I don't know why the fuck they took out control panel when you right-click. That makes no logical sense. Go to your keyboards. What you can do... It might be listed as an HID keyboard device. HID stands for a human interface device. Right click it and you can first, it doesn't matter which one, you can uninstall the device, which I don't want to do because my keyboard works just fine, but you would click uninstall. Then you can either reboot or up here there is a scan for hardware changes. You just click on that and it windows as childish as windows is. It doesn't it forgot your keyboard already I don't know what that is I, I, I got to I got to scan it work your papers please keyboard get out your ID oh, oh you are a keyboard you look a bit strange but yeah you have a license to uh, to be a keyboard you have your license and you're a licensed keyboard okay thank you okay I, I, I will load okay okay you know like Nazi Germany Another thing you can do is you can highlight your keyboard, right click it and update the driver. There's two options. You can use Windows built-in Windows Update to search automatically for updated driver software. That's maybe you might need to try that. Or you could choose the second option, browse my computer for driver software. That's if you downloaded drivers for your keyboard off the internet and you have them locally or if you have like a CD-ROM that came with your keyboard. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to click cancel there. And there's another option. There's a tool. There's driver pack. You could try driver pack. And there's also the snappy, what is it, snappy driver installer, which I'm testing. And so far, I like it. I, I, I don't know of any others that I would recommend. Driver pack or snappy. Let me look it up really quick. I think it is snappy. Snappy. Yeah, that that might find new drivers for you. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna write a blog post and I'm gonna make a video about Snappy Driver Installer. I just I'm busy. I have to watch football, so I think that's about it. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. We can I can really quickly scan my blog post. Check out my blog post. Everything on this video is included in the abstract in written format. So let's see, HID, you can draw, update the driver, you can uninstall it. What else? Booting into safe mode and see if it works in safe mode, but it does, you might have to reload the operating system. It could be a hardware problem. Your keyboard might be failing. 
But that's why you need to learn. You need to learn how to take apart laptops. You don't have to fucking take apart the entire laptop, but it, it helps to know how to reseat the keyboard. I've done that before. Even sometimes the displays stop working. All of a sudden, it's not broken, it's not cracked, it's just it's a blank screen. Well, all you have to do is reseat the ribbon cable for the video the LCD and sometimes that fixes it or the keyboard sometimes the keyboard just starts malfunctioning and fucking up and you just reseat the ribbon cable and bam I think that's about it Adios